One of the great classic information security practices is following the least privileges model. This means that you grant your users the least amount of privilege that they need on a regular basis and have them elevate their privileges selectively when they need to do this. This means that you give Bart read-only access for most of his day-to-day -day permissions, and when I want to go and perform some administrative change, a delete, an add, an update in an AWS environment, then I would actively go and change my permissions by assuming a role. Now, in order to understand how this works, let's imagine that we have that role Okay, and we had the user that we wanted to assume the role. So the first thing to recognize is that that user has to have permission to run the assume role command, and that is a command found in the secure token service. After that, the user needs to have access to the role itself. This means that in the security policy we attach to the user, we have to have the assume role command and a resource statement using the Amazon resource name for this particular role, thereby granting privileges to that user to go and perform whatever actions that role uh, grants them once they assume it. If we wanted to see what that policy looked like, I could jump over here in identity and access management and I have a little template statement here already. This little one line statement is enough to do it. Uh, allow the STS assume role action against this particular ARN value. So then I would go over to my role and I have a role right here and I can grab the ARN value out of it, paste that on into the policy and now it refers to that specific role uh, that I've just entered in. Save the policy, attach it to a user or a group and away you go with attempting to use the assume role command. Beyond that, you wanna make sure your role is configured properly with the trust and permissions policy so that it can actually do something for you. So just to recap, if you're gonna use assume role and the identity and access management role as a way to elevate privileges for your users, you have to start off first by giving them permission to use the STS assume role command. See you next time.